As you can see this week, it is raining. I am very, very sad. I'm not the type of person to enjoy these very rainy days. I enjoy the sun. I'm a sunshine person. What can I do? Well, today I've got a really good suggestion of something you can do in a day where it's not that good weather. I mean, raining, foggy. This is a, the sort of place where this kind of weather will actually enhance your experience so i will show this to you it is in the mountains of sintra pretty famous place very close to lisbon let's go i'm about to show you a very 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 cool spot here we go Today I'm going to show you the Convent of Capuchos, inserted deep into the natural park of Sintra. Here in the middle of the nature, this is probably the monument in the mountain that gets less tourists, less visitors every single day. Apparently nobody really remembers that this awesome place even exists, so let's go in and have a look. So now that I'm in here, little problem. It's gonna be hard to film in such low light. I mean, have a look at how dark it is in there. But I'm gonna give my best and hopefully I can show you at least a little bit. So let's hop in. <laughs> Apparently the monks who lived in this convent, they would live in their knees. So look at the size of the tiny little doors. Let's go and explore more. Whew. Can barely fit through here. Look at this little tiny corridor. Hello. <laughs> so one thing that is probably impossible to see is how, well, all these little doors and walls and everything, the roof, they're all made of cork. I mean, let me try and show you here at this little window. Cork is a very, very good insulating material, so that means when there's bad weather like this, it wouldn't be as extremely cold as it would otherwise be in a little convent built in the middle or carved into the actual rocks. So, clever people. So what is also pretty cool is to come and explore the forest around. 
like you have many different paths but they're not the easiest uh, but if you like this sort of thing I mean there's nowhere that you'll find where you can get the whole place just for yourself so I do think it's worth to come here because I mean I love this type of scenario I love nature and I guess with this foggy look it just gets you know a whole different level of mysteriousness you know it gets very mystic and so come to the convent of Capuchus and enjoy it for us I think it's time to go grab a snack and a coffee because you know my girl down there she really needs um, this sort of thing <laughs> So I just got back home, well guys I hope you have enjoyed seeing what the convent of Capuchus is all about and obviously uh, if you want to see it more in depth you're going to have to go there by yourselves or hire me to take you there or something like that, it's always a good option. Now I want to say goodbye for you, I'm going to see you again next week with another adventure and guys please don't forget to like and subscribe at the bottom of the video please that will really help me a lot uh, I need to grow this into something credible so please give me a hand on that and see you next time well next week for another adventure bye bye hello again everyone <laughs> you can see